Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to get you on the process of creating a main menu inside of Unreal Engine 4 using UMG. Now I'm going to be breaking this down into a couple of different videos as it's quite a lengthy process. There's a lot to it. You know, there's styling it, there's, you know, getting the layout, there's adding the functionality for all of the buttons and a whole bunch of cool stuff and it's going to be a really awesome learning experience so make sure you stay tuned and watch every video to work out exactly how we do it. So if you go ahead and look in my viewport here you can see exactly what we're going to be creating over the next few videos. We've got a simple main menu here of a background, couple of buttons and these buttons are going to be things for like start game, quit game, you've also got options when you click it it brings up a whole bunch of other buttons you can change the resolution, um, you know, you can fire you can fire off whatever kind of uh, console command you want really to change the quality settings and stuff. Hopefully this gives you a basis on how to do it. But anyway, this is the type of menu that you can be that you're going to be creating while we're going over this tutorial. Now, you can do more complex stuff, but like I said, this is just a foundation and you could add all the other cool stuff in as you want. Now in today's episode, we're actually going to be going over how to actually get the menu displayed on the screen and set up the layout. Whereas in the next video, we're going to be going over stylizing it, and then in the third video, we're going to be going over how we can add all of the functionality. Now I didn't want to just make this into one, uh, one hour long episode, instead I want to break it up into like three, you know, 15 minute videos to make it a little bit easier. Uh, to follow and it's not going to be too overwhelming. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and quit this and I'm going to show you exactly how I did all of this. So the first thing I did was I created a new HUD class for the main menu and that's just going to display the main menu widget. But the main menu widget is where all of the cool stuff is set up. So you've got my buttons in here, I've got that for the main menu and the options, I've got the background and everything in here. But if we go to the graph, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of different like uh, blueprint functions here to toggle the visibility of certain buttons on and off, you know, to show you which page you should be on. We've also got some functionality for quitting the game, starting the game, changing the resolution, and I'm going to be showing you how to do all of this stuff. This menu is made completely custom with uh, images of my own that I've used. Um, I'm going to show you how to get these images. Um, I'm going to leave a download link in the description for the images for the button, uh, the buttons and the background that I used. Now keep in mind you can use whatever you want really, it's just a matter of you know making your own images. So if you want to do that, that's completely fine. If you want to use mine, that's fine too. Or even if you don't want to style them and you just want to make basic buttons, that's fine too. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get into creating a new menu. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new project real quick, simply because um, you know I've already got all the stuff on here and I want to show you how to create a main menu from scratch for whatever project you're working with. Now for this I'm just going to create a third person template project, I'm going to call this main menu test project. And I'm going to go ahead and create that. It's going to take a couple of seconds to, you know, create it, but don't worry about that. Alright, so it's all loaded up now and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do, like I said, is we're going to need to create a new HUD class for the main menu. It's quite simple to do that. If you haven't seen my UI videos uh, previously, I advise you go and check them out. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. So create a new blueprint class, go, uh, go to all classes and just type in HUD. Just select HUD down here, press select, and we're going to name this Main Menu HUD. I'm going to go ahead and open this, and we're going to do some basic stuff just to get the widget on the screen, once we've created a widget anyway. So go to Event Graph, and go to Begin Play, because we want it to start at the, you know, the beginning as soon as the game loads. I'm going to go to Begin Play, Create Widget, and then we're also going to go ahead and add that to the viewport. So just type in Add to Viewport, just like that. And now under class, we don't have one at the moment, a widget class, so we've got to go ahead and create one. So I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick, right click, go to user interface, and go to widget blueprint, and we're going to call this main menu widget. And once again, we can open up the HUD class, and then just go ahead and chuck in the main menu widget here. So now if we compile, and if we were to chuck something into the main menu widget, just like this, just chuck in an image, let's just go ahead and check to see if it's displayed on the screen. 
you can see at the moment it's not displayed on the screen. The reason for that is because we haven't actually told the engine to use this HUD class yet. So what we need to do is we need to go over to Window and then click World Settings and under World Settings go to Selected Game Mode uh, and we're going to have to go and put one in here. Now I advise that you create your own game mode for the main menu. It's quite simple to do. Just go ahead and duplicate the third person game mode and I'm going to call this main, sorry, third person menu mode. And then we're going to go ahead and chuck that in the override. And now from here we can set a different HUD class, a different pawn class. You know, if you don't want the player to be moving around, I advise that you go ahead and turn off default pawn class, player controller and all that cool stuff. But the most important thing is that we change the HUD class from HUD, the default HUD, which is nothing, to main menu HUD. If I was to go ahead and press play, you can see it's now displayed on the screen. So that's the basis for our menu. So the next thing we need to do now then, is we actually need to start constructing the menu. Now, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and add in a whole bunch of different custom images. Adding in these custom images is quite simple. I advise that you go into your content browser and make a new folder for all of this stuff. So go to add new, new folder, and I'm just going to call this images, uh, or menu assets. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import all of the files that I need. So just go ahead and press import. And I'm going to select all my buttons. One, two, three. There should be a couple more in here. One, two, three, and four. There we go. So now we've got all the buttons. And I'm also going to import my background as well. Like I said to you previously, if you want to go ahead and uh, you know, download all of these buttons and the background image. You can do so using the download link in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and get the background image as well, which is this one. I will put this all into a zip folder so, you can, so it's easier for you all to find. But anyway, now we've got those assets in there, let's just go back to the main menu widget and let's put in the background image. You don't necessarily have to have a background image if you don't want to, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there anyway. So just drag an image in from the palette place it wherever you want, and if it's a background image, I advise that you go to anchors, and then just anchor it to the whole screen, and make sure it also stretches out to the whole screen as well. Now we've done that, we can go ahead and set the image. Just go to brush, image, and then we can, call, we can set this to the background image, just like that. So if we compile and close this, press play, you should see it now takes up the whole screen like a main menu, and you can't see the background, which is just great, perfect for what we want to do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do then is start creating the layout for the buttons and all of that cool stuff. So let's go ahead and add in a button. You can add in a button quite simple like this, but the trouble is if you was to toggle the visibility of individual buttons, you're going to have to reference lots of objects. So instead of having these individual buttons, we can sort these buttons into little boxes. And then we can just toggle the visibility of, this bo of these boxes to, um, you know, just turn them on and off a lot easier. You'll understand when we get there in the, next vis uh, in the next video when we actually start, you know, adding all the functionality and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to not primitive panel, is it panel? Yep, and then add in a vertical box. And now you're going to place this wherever you're going to want the vertical box to be. I'm going to want my buttons in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor the button, uh, the vertical box into the middle as well. And now from here, we can go ahead and add these buttons into the vertical box. We are going to want a couple of buttons on the main menu, uh, and that's going to be start game, options, and quick game. So we're going to add in three buttons. Doing that's quite simple. Just go ahead and drag in a button into the vertical box. One, two, and three. You can see that one of them hasn't gone in, so I'm just going to drag it in. But you can see all of our buttons are now in this vertical box. We can go ahead and stylize those if we want to. It's quite simple. But anyway, you've got these, you've got these buttons in here now. We're also going to need a second vertical box, and this one is going to be for the options menu. You know, so you've got the resolution and return to menu. So let's go ahead and add in another few buttons. So we're going to have a button for this uh, button for one resolution two resolutions, three resolutions, and then return to the main menu. As simple as that. It's quite simple. You might want to go ahead and layer some of these buttons so you know which, uh, name some of these buttons so you know which ones are which. 
It's quite simple to do, just right click on the buttons and rename them. So the first button in the main menu vertical box, I'm going to name this Start Game or Start Game. The second one is going to be Options. The third one is going to be Quick Game. And then in here, we're going to set the resolution buttons. We're going to give names for those. So 1920 by 1080. The next one we're going to have is uh, 1280 by 480. And the last one is going to be 640 by something else. 640 by 480. And the last button is also going to be just simply, you know, return to menu. Return to menu, just like that. Now we've got all our buttons in place. If you wanted to, we can now continue to go ahead and, you know, place all of these. In we can go ahead and modify these buttons individually. We can start styling them and all of that cool stuff. Now, if you want to learn how to style all of the buttons, um, I advise that you go ahead and check out the next tutorial as this one's dragging on a little bit. So the next tutorial is going to be focused entirely on how you can actually stylize these buttons, use the images that we imported earlier, and get it looking all nice and fancy. And in then in the third and final video, we're going to be showing you how to add the functionality for all of these buttons and get it all moving and all that cool stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much everything, so make sure you smash that like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.